The biggest thing we can read into it is that when you actually look at the exact wording of uh, the announcement, especially on uh, the federal government's uh, side, it's not clear at all that these federal agents will be leaving anytime soon. Yes, the governor announced uh, that uh, there will be a phased withdrawal of these federal agents uh, in uh, Portland uh, starting from uh, this uh, Thursday. But if you read the statement of uh, the secretary from, for Homeland Security, Chad Wolf, uh, that's uh, not as uh, clear and as evident. What he's saying is that they have negotiated a plan of a, a phased withdrawal, but that is uh, really has to do with how much of the local law enforcement is going to take over and actually uh, really made it, make it possible for the federal agents uh, to uh, leave. Uh, he's saying that until we have clear proof that the local law enforcement can adequately protect federal buildings, including that federal courthouse that has become a flashpoint in Portland, uh, those federal agents will be staying there uh, on standby, basically, before they actually leave. And that goes with the messaging of Donald Trump. Uh, just before that announcement was made, the president uh, saying that if uh, Portland doesn't uh, clean up its situation on its own, we will do it for them. And basically, the message of the federal government is we won't leave until there is peace on the streets. So it's, it's not clear uh, how fast that, that will go. But the idea is maybe also that uh, this is creating a lot of controversy, uh, that it's not necessarily uh, bringing any real results because the federal agents haven't been able to uh, quell uh, the, uh, that violence. And so they're trying to uh, do this balancing act uh, between federal agents and local law enforcement to try to bring back the peace in Portland. OK, so some signs that the feds may or may not be withdrawing from Portland sometime soon, we think. But uh, in any case, feds are going to be deployed elsewhere to three other cities in the United States. Tell us more, Ketavan. Yes, the three uh, other cities, uh, this is uh, an expansion of Operation Legend, which has already started in cities like Kansas City or uh, Chicago. Now it's uh, being expanded uh, to uh, Cleveland, Milwaukee, and uh, Detroit. Uh, you have uh, about 25 uh, federal agents uh, sent to Milwaukee and 25 more to Cleveland, as well as more than 40 agents uh, to uh, Detroit. Now, of course, because of the situation in Portland, uh, the minute you hear federal agents going into a U.S. cities, uh, local authorities and uh, the population are very worried about that, what that actually means. And what the local authorities are trying uh, to do and what the federal government is trying to do is make it very clear that these are two very different situations. Uh, the situation for Operation Legend is uh, dozens of uh, federal agents uh, going into these cities in partnership with local law enforcement and not to police uh, protesters, but to actually help in investigating uh, violent crimes. That is their role. And that's uh, what, uh, for example, uh, the U.S. attorney in uh, Milwaukee said. He said, you will not see federal agents amassing on the streets of uh, Milwaukee. These are not beat cops. These are trained investigators. So they're trying to make it very clear uh, that this is not going to be uh, federal agents uh, trying to uh, quell those uh, peaceful uh, protests in uh, these cities, but really some help for cities that are actually, uh, we've seen uh, the numbers, that are actually seeing a real increase in those violent crimes, whether it's uh, gun violence or uh, drug trafficking.